Hello guys, my name is Tena and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new, I hope you will like it and you will stay for a while In today's video, me and Nieto Perek, which means little bat in Polish we would like to talk with you about calisthenics I'm not a calisthenics expert, I train super rarely and many things that I think I know is because of my boyfriend, he trains calisthenics already for quite some years and well, thanks to him I started calisthenics thanks to me he decided to start weight slash crossfit full body circuits I decided to share with you my small calisthenics routine normally I don't train anything advanced I still prefer weighted upper body workouts calisthenics is just super tiring and I feel unmotivated feeling how bad I am if that makes any sense that's why I still train it just to change something in my workouts and additionally thanks to calisthenics I noticed some a grow and difference in my shoulders well not really difference definition that's the word definition mostly the front part I think got quite nice with the negative pull-ups I'm not able to do normal pull-ups so I'm just focusing all on negative ones and we're just going forward <laughs> besides negative pull-ups normally I do different variations of push-ups seated pull-ups and I also try to work a little bit on my triceps yeah <laughs> but yeah my triceps are super super weak also when I started my fitness journey I skipped triceps like I simply assumed that it doesn't exist and for that reason for some quite good months I didn't train I forgot this muscle and it's weaker simply and you shouldn't do this learn on my mistake don't do this by yourself train your triceps <laughs> so two of my favorite tricep exercises are tricep dips i must do them with the bands because otherwise after two three repetitions i'm dead unfortunately my upper body is super weak probably it's on me and it's my fault but anyway, I would like to complain a little bit and the second exercise would be normal tricep push-ups, simply if you're a girl and like me, you're a little bit concerned if after training calisthenics you will get wider I have an answer for you, you will and that's great cause with the wider shoulders and back you can create that illusion of a hourglass figure and simply your waist will look smaller besides that pretty nice shaped 3D shoulders they look in my opinion quite sexy especially with the straps or with the dress the strapless dress is I'm telling you it's a good one so simply don't be afraid try your calisthenics journey you don't really have to call it calisthenics journey because you won't be doing many typical calisthenics moves and nowadays fitness is super saturated with everything and all of the disciplines are kinda mixing and matching things you should try everything and you should check what you like maybe calisthenic movements will be something that you will love or maybe like me for example you would love to do pull-ups simply to feel stronger and remember girl power and everything we can do this only if we want to so don't be afraid try you can try when the gym will be empty you can come really early in the morning or super super late in the night there are bars outside in some neighborhoods first you can try there if you feel too ashamed at the gym although you should never feel ashamed there are guys training calisthenics and 
anyway like my boyfriend for example he kind of envies me that i'm able to lift more mostly with lower body because in calisthenics you don't train lower body a lot and probably you think that there is always someone at the gym looking at you but think about that this way probably they are looking at you because they are impressed not because they judge you we're at the gym all to train if you train you should be already proud of yourself because training is a lot more than not training so no matter what others think you should always force yourself to keep going and not to give up and don't think about others opinions simply do what you feel is right for you for example when you go to the bookstore you don't think if the person next to you like the book that you're about to buy simply you're buying it because it's your intellectual opinion and you're not ashamed of that so why you're ashamed of your body and of what you're trying to achieve be proud of that embrace that inner calisthenic girl and try to do pull-ups that's super cool so in this video i will try to guide you a little bit through my favorite calisthenic-esque exercises if you're not anyway really into calisthenics you can try some of my booty workouts they are the good ones i promise uh, besides that maybe you would be interested i lost 9% of the body fat and I'm super proud of that so if you would like to find some motivation or simply you're curious check it out and of course if you like this type of content please give me a like in the comment down below you can leave any suggestions what you would like to see or about what you would like to know a little bit more maybe I will be able to help and also do not forget to click the subscribe button cause then you will never miss new videos and they are good ones promise they are good ones besides that i also have instagram account and i share mostly my gym view related photos there um, sometimes some of my travel photos so if you're curious you still not daily underscore just like the name of this channel so do not hesitate and check it and for now thank you very much in advance for watching the calisthenic workout i hope you will like it and see you next time hope to see you next time i'm watching you see you next time bye first of the exercises would be banded dips unfortunately i have to do them with the band otherwise i'm able to do maximum three you can start with two or three bands after that remove them and finally you will be able to do it this way i'm not able to do it yet but with some practice everything is possible you just cannot be afraid of the exercise and well as you can see in the background there is my uh, band from the dips and right now i use the medium one there are thicker and thinner of course then negative banded pull-ups you can of course try to do normal pull-ups uh, the rule is again the same like with uh, dips simply you're using bands more of them just one thicker thinner but it gives a little bit of a support uh, I do this with one right now, I used to do with two, uh, with the negative pull-up uh, you're just simply, you start uh, at the top and you go down with uh, three or four poses going down and then you start again at the top and after practicing some time you should be able to do it this way in this rhythm just my boyfriend trains calisthenics already for some years so just don't get discouraged another thing holds uh, first normally i do bicep hold and i keep all of the holds for like 20 25 seconds and i do normally around three rounds uh, besides that pull up hold it's like a negative hold just uh, sorry it's like a negative pull up just a hold and if not just a normal hold just to uh, get your wrist used to the position besides that seated pull-ups are also nice 
you can almost feel like you're able to do normal pull up uh, again you're strengthening your shoulders and also you're shaping them and rounding them and reverse rows are also quite important cause then you're training delts and your back in general and this is pretty important to be resistant and to be strong and the lucky last one TRX TRX push-ups if you don't have TRX at the gym uh, you can do this on the ground simply just here it's more advanced as you can see I'm super super shaky so here is like uh, elevated uh, TRX push-up with the wider stance and here a uh, narrow uh, push-up with the legs in the TRX which makes you again a little bit unstable so you have to keep your balance using your core not just the shoulders